friends, welcome. I'm so excited to be here with you today. My name is Miss Tara. And my name is Miss Oke. Boys and girls, can you remind me of the name of our Edge Oak friend who helped us dig into God's word? That's true, it's Hamilton. Do you want to know something I learned about Edge Oaks? They are athletic. <gasps> really? Wow, I didn't know that. Even, they, even though they are roly poly, they often run several miles a night and are great climbers and swimmers. Wow. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. I didn't know all that about hedgehogs. It is true. And now it's time to call our roly poly friend Hamilton. So on the count of three, let's call him together. One, two, three. Hamilton. I hear him. It's okay. Boys and girls, I hear him. What in the world has he got for us today? <gasps> Hamilton, wave to your friends. I'm so glad you joined us today. Friends, what is Hamilton wearing? That's right, Hamilton is wearing a beautiful crown. I like your crown. Friends, the last time we were together, we heard about a very special king. What's his name, can you remember? That's right, it's Jesus. That's right. Now we are going to dig deep, deep, deep into God's word so we can find out what he has to say to us. I can hardly wait, but before we hear our Bible story, let's all stand up and sing our Bible song together. Okay. Now it's time to hear God's word, hear God's word, hear God's word. Now it's time to hear God's word, so let's look in the Bible. Well, hi everyone. My name is Mr. Lucas. Friends, did you know that Jesus is alive? And you might say, well, of course he's alive. My friends are alive, I'm alive, of course he's alive. But Jesus was born way before your mother and father. He was born before your grandparents. He was born before your grandparents' grandparents. Everyone that was born when Jesus was born died. But Jesus is alive. And that's why we're celebrating Easter and I brought some eggs to do it. It's my favorite story. Jesus did die. He died for our sins, but then he came alive again after three days because there's no one like our God. He is stronger than death. Okay, I brought some special eggs to show you. A whole bunch of them, actually Hamilton brought them. And they're gonna help us remember God's story. Here comes the first egg. We'll open it up and let's see what's inside. Mm. Mm. There we are. Oh, oh, it's a sad face. Can you make a sad face like this? Yeah, our, our happy story, it starts out sad because Jesus died. He died on the cross for our sins. And people were sad because they loved him. Let's open the next egg. Hmm. Oh. Can you tell what this is? If you think you know what this is, just touch your nose. You got it. It's a piece of cloth. Now this one is quite small because it was inside an egg. But the cloth that I'm talking about was kind of about the size of a, of a sheet on your bed or something. And what happened was after Jesus died, his body didn't move anymore because he, it was dead. And so people wrapped it all up in a cloth, round and round, and put in some good smelling things, and then they laid him in a tomb. A tomb is like a grave, but it's like a cave in the side of a hill. And they, they put him there, they wrapped him all up. Think they were happy yet? 
I don't think so. Let's open our next egg. Mm. Ah, I think we all know what this is. See it? Oh, hold it for you like this. If you think you've got it, I'm gonna to count to three. Okay, one, two, three, tell me. You're right, it's a rock. Now some you said it's a stone. Um, and you're close. I mean, it's the same thing, isn't it? You see, after Jesus was inside that tomb, they put a rock over it. Now, this rock is little, but the real rock in front of Jesus' tomb was about as high as I am. It was heavy and they had to roll it. So now, can you roll this rock? Show me your muscles. Ugh, try to push it. Oh, it's hard work. Yes, use those muscles. Okay, now I've got more eggs. This one here. Hmm. What's inside this egg? What's inside this egg? You're right, it's empty. There's nothing in here at all. Because after three days, one, two, three, it was empty because Jesus was alive and, and, and he was risen from the dead. But now I'll tell you something. Someone came that day to see Jesus. Her name was Mary and she was a friend. And, and I would like you to just think for a minute. When Mary got there, do you think that the tomb was open or it was closed? Open or closed? If you think it was open, wave your hands like this, go boing, wide open. Okay? If you think the tomb was closed, kind of go like this, closed. Tough one. But the rock was rolled away. And Jesus didn't roll it away, it was just rolled away. Now, was Jesus inside the tomb? Nope. The tomb was empty, just like this egg was empty. He wasn't in there anymore because he rose from the dead. Well, Mary didn't know that. And she went in and, and she was really confused. Can you show me a confused face? Hmm. Yeah, she just didn't know what was going on. Well, next egg. Hmm. Aha. Oh, of course. Mary needed one of these. It's a hanky for blowing your nose or when you're crying. You can use it to wipe away tears from your eyes. Because Mary went inside and she was already really sad because Jesus had died. And, and then they wrapped up his body in a cloth and now she went into his tomb and his body wasn't there. And she thought, oh no, oh no. Someone stole the body. And she was so sad. And she was so sad because she didn't know something that you know. If you know what happened, shout with me, he's alive. One, two, three, he's alive. Well, okay, egg number six. Hmm, okay. Boing. I'll tell you why this is a happy face. First of all, show me yours. Yeah, make it really, really happy. Now, Mary was sad and she was crying. And she went back outside from the tomb and, and, and she, heard a, she heard someone talking and she thought it was the gardener. And then this someone said, Mary. And all of a sudden she thought, what's that? Now, if you think it was the gardener calling Mary, 
just dig, dig in the garden a little bit. Okay. If you think it was Jesus, then wave your hands in the air. That's right. It was Jesus who called her name because Jesus is alive. It's such exciting news. Now, you showed me your happy faces before. Now, show me your biggest, happiest faces. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Jesus had a special job for Mary. He wanted her to just to tell people, tell them the good news. And I think she was so glad to do that. If you think that's good news too, give me two thumbs up. In fact, give me 10 thumbs up. Jesus is alive today. He's alive tomorrow. He's alive forever and ever and ever. Boys and girls, my friends, there's no one like God. He's the only one who's stronger than death and Jesus is alive. And you know something? You can tell people. So if you Remember the megaphone that you made in your craft time? It's kind of long like that. You can say into there, Jesus is alive. Say it to people, Jesus is alive. And smile really big. Okay, let's pray together. Wiggle your fingers together. Say, dear God, thank you because you are alive today and you are with me all the time. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thanks for listening, everyone. You did a great job. See you next time. I love the story of Jesus riding on the donkey mm -hmm. and everyone praising him. We can praise him too by saying our memory verse together. Let's all stand up and say the memory verse together. Ready? Ready. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Joshua 1.9 very good, boys and girls. Now let's say it again. I love it so much. Okay, ready? I, I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Joshua 1, 9. Wow, God loves hearing you say the verse, friends. You can all sit down now. Today, we learned that Jesus is king. Let's say it loudly together. Jesus, Jesus is, is king. king. That is such great news. It sure is. We love digging into God's word with you today. We hope you'll join us next time. And remember, God loves you so much. And we do too. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Clap your hands.